So first of all, you've got your free NAS um, set up. And what you want to do first, you want to go into um, your storage and create a place for your uh, virtual machine to be installed. So I'm going to install mine here on my main pool and I create a Z volume. So just click create, give it a name. For this purpose, we'll call it uh, YouTube Ubuntu. And you've got to give it a size. So I'll give it a 16 gig. And then just go uh, add volume. So you want to add after those 16 gigabytes, 16 gigs, you want to add gigabytes in there. So I thought I'd go through with the mistakes so that, um, that even a noob could um, get this done. So once you've created that, that's awesome. You head over to VM and you create a new VM. So I've already got one running, but so I'm gonna, we're going to create a new one and we're going to name this one YouTube. And then you want to choose how many CPUs, virtual CPUs you want to give it. So we'll give it two and then how many how much RAM you're going to give it. So we'll give it uh, 2 gigs. You can also, there's a boot method there, um, let's go with UEFI, and there's an also auto auto start option. So we're not going to bother with that and we'll create that. So that creates that very quickly. And then there's just a couple of other things that we need to do. So we, we need to go into this newly created uh, virtual machine. And it's already created two devices here. You see the NIC, network interface card, and also a VNC, so we can view it. So let's create something else. Click on there, add YouTube, and we're going to add the disk. And that's what we just created, that 16 gigabytes before. If you scroll down, see down there, you can see YouTube Ubuntu. So add that, click OK. And then we will head across, no, so in the same place, and we're going to add another device and this time we're going to add a CD-ROM. This is what you you load the Ubuntu ISO onto or whatever ISO you're going to do. So let's add that CD-ROM and we get to choose our ISO. Now I've already downloaded an ISO and I have them located in a specific folder so you'll need to download an ISO and add it to a folder as well um, that you can access from your free NAS and I've got a few here so I'll go down and choose Ubuntu 1604. So we do that, hit OK, and then we'll load that into that CD-ROM. So it's like it's loaded. Now you also need um, VNC Viewer. So you can download that um, off for free to search for it on Google. I have it here already, I've loaded on my machine. So let's load that up. And we got this is how we're going to view our virtual machine. So you want to take note of these port that port number 5910 from for us. And you need to enter the IP of your FreeNAS followed by that port number that we just looked at. So this is my old one, let's get rid of that. Um, enter our IP address, followed by the two um, dots, I forget what they are called. And then you want to add on top of that, at the end of that, that port number there, 5910. So do that. Before you hit enter, or you can hit enter now, but before you hit enter, you want to start that virtual machine. So let's go and start it. Click on it, hit the start button, to start YouTube. Now go back to that VNC viewer, hit enter. And it gives us a warning, yes, don't worry about it. Now you get a funny flashing screen like this. But let's close that, I'll show you how to fix that. I'm going to right click on it, go down to properties, hit the options tab at the top, and we want to change the picture quality to uh, medium. I'm not sure if high or low works, but medium works for me, so see what happens now. We'll double click on it and it should be all good. Awesome. So now we want to install Ubuntu. I accidentally um, hit try Ubuntu, so it's going to boot into Ubuntu and we can install it on to that uh, 16 gigabytes that we created before so we'll click install I'll fast forward this issue uh, this um, bit in a minute because otherwise it's going to go on for 25 minutes so here it is I'll just run you through the first piece 
OK. Uh, do that later. Yes, erase disk and install Ubuntu. So that's what we want to do. So install now. Yes, go ahead with that. And we want to create a username. So let's create a username. Now hurries up. Yeah, oh, yeah, time first. Oh, I'm in New Zealand. So let's choose the Auckland time zone. Yes, keyboard's fine. So just a normal run through. Okay, so the name we're just going to call it YouTube. And our password will be super simple, YouTube as well, I think. Yep, YouTube. Alright, hit enter. I'll fast forward this bit and we'll just come to the closing of it. The finishing of it, I mean. Yes, so at this point I hit restart. That's not what you want to do. You want to continue testing and then shut your machine down. If you hit restart, you have some issues with your um, server. So I had to reboot my server to get this up. So now you see that this um, YouTube VNC is there. And we want to go back and boot into it again. So we'll hit start. Yes. VNC. Boom. So we get this thing here. Uh, UEFI Interactive Shell. And we can't do anything really. So what you want to do is you want to type exit if you want this machine to boot automatically. Go down to boot manager. Go down to boot from file. Yes, hit enter on that. Enter on the UFI. Go down to Ubuntu. Hit enter. Now we want to go to this grub x64.efi file. Hit that and we'll boot into Ubuntu. So that's great but we don't want to have to do that every single time. So I'll show you how to fix that issue. Log into Ubuntu. Oh, I almost forgot. Back before, um, when we created that CD row and put the Ubuntu in there, Ubuntu ISO in there, you need to go back to devices and delete that. Otherwise it's just going to boot straight into the CD ROM again. So here we are into uh, Ubuntu. Now I'll back the screen bigger and I'll run through it bit by bit. So you want to open up terminal and ls and it'll show us where we are so you want to go as um, super user so we'll type in sudo su password and now we're uh, super user now we're root so ls we're still there so we want to change folders change directory to root we'll list that i'll go through this like this so you can all see where we're the process is of what we're doing i want to go into this boot folder here so we'll change directory into that boot folder. List that again. So we've got a few files here and we want to go into this EFI folder. So let's do that. Change directory EFI. Hit enter. List that again. And we see another big fat EFI. It's our only folder so let's go into that. Now our next step we've got to create a, a new folder. So we're going to make directory and we're going to call it boot and we're going to do this in capital letters so make directory boot and it's listed again see if it's here yes it's done so now let's go into our Ubuntu folder there so change directory Ubuntu and let's see what's there so we've got those files that we booted into before this grub x64 EFI file we want to copy that and move it to copy it to that boot folder that we just created and we're going to want to rename that file to boot x64 from grub x64 so let's do that so let's copy that file and we want to move it to that folder so you need to type in your path so root and then boot folder that EFI folder we went into that large EFI folder we went into and now we're going to go into that boot folder that we created and we're going to rename grub x64 to boot x64.efi hit enter now let's list it so that file is still there the new one created is not there 
Let's go into our boot folder that we created and see if it's in there. So we want to change direct there into that boot folder. This that. Yes, there it is there, renamed. So let's exit out and reboot the machine. We'll shut down. Yep, goodbye. Stop this machine and let's boot into it again and see if it boots into Ubuntu for us automatically. Start the machine, go to the VNC again, let's boot into it and here we go. Just log in. Yeah, so don't forget to go, which I haven't shown in this video, to go back into devices and delete that device for the CD-ROM that had um, the Ubuntu ISO in there, otherwise it will just keep booting into that. Thanks.